what's going on guys? So American Independence Day is tomorrow. And that got me thinking about America's greatest birthday present ever, the movie Independence Day. Now if the internet's correct, two years from now, we're gonna see a sequel to Independence Day, ID Forever. And what do we wanna see in a sequel to Independence Day? That brings us to our new segment, Dream Sequels, where we will conjure great ideas that Hollywood will never use. And we have an awesome panel to talk about our Dream Independence Day sequels. First, he's been with us a number of times before. Welcome back from Belated Media, Michael Barrity. Glad to be here, Hal. And uh, this man is one of the gentlemen behind one of the best film sites out there, Slash Film. Welcome, Jermaine Lucier. Thank you very much, Hal. So from what we hear, we're expecting the sequel two years from now. So let's take everything we know and flush it down the toilet for a second. <laughs> Which and might be happening right now, we don't know. What do we want to see? What What's going to blow our minds? For starters, I'd like to just address what the poster should be. Yes. Ooh. And the tagline. Mm -hmm. It should be, we thought we were free, we were wrong, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine, what... what well, if I was thinking about the a dream sequel. I kept thinking they can't do my real dream sequel, which is when you first saw the first movie. How do we rebuild? Since t so much time has passed, we can't make that movie. Mm -hmm. So I came up with two crazy scenarios that I'd like to see. Okay. The first one is the less plausible one. We still have the alien spaceship. Let's go back and see what we can find out. And it becomes aliens meets Independence Day. But I want to see us on their planet or on their ship, just mowing down guys. We send off Colonial Marines to take out the alien swarm wherever it is. As that happens, Wormhole opens up and there's an at another attack on Ooh. Earth. So you're remaking the first movie, but also having a separate story of us right. doing I like that. See, and that's good because that helps take my screenplay from like six pages to a lot more than that. So I like now that. We've got, now we've got 12. Yeah, now, now we're oh, ready yeah. to go. The other thought I had in conjunction with an alien sort of thing, the other idea I had was aliens show up and they more or less create a giant solar flare that wipes out all of the electricity on Earth. So we now need to be using analog technology uh -huh. just to make it a thing where we have like Minutemen sort of action of mm -hmm. like militias and things like that. So it's really down and dirty and you've got the world sort of in this weird panic where we're at our weakest. So I really like this idea of the uh, two storylines with the colonial marines on one battlefront, but then the aliens are attacking us on Earth again. So who do we want to pepper into that movie? Who's back from the first movie? No Harry Connick Jr. Sorry, sorry everybody. Do we want Will Smith back? I would love him Without back. question, yeah. Yeah. but he's... I mean, and that character was the main like character, so like 20 years later for him not to be there seems kind of weird. Even if his son, the rumor is that like Michael B. Jordan might be playing was his son. Was that the rumor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he Michael B. Jordan is fantastic. And that he definitely, has me excited. He definitely took meetings about it. That's that happened. But I don't mm -hmm. know if he's actually gonna do it or if that's actually in the movie. But any way they could get Smith to do a five minute cameo, you think? Maybe he's been off on the alien planet this whole time without anybody knowing because he's such a great pilot. And mm -hmm. he comes back with like all this technology, big mech suit avatar style. Yeah. Right as the credits roll. And he's like we got a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Welcome it's... back to Earth. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And I think, you, you mean, the fact that Pullman and Goldblum are back, perfect. I mean, with no Will Smith, you need to bring back as many people as you can. Absolutely. They're both great. But you need a big action star at the front. Yeah, you need some muscle. Well, I think the obvious choice is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. He's well-versed in action and comedy, so he can play more or less the Will Smith role. You know what might be kind of fun if like The Rock just played himself because we're living in this uh, post-alien invasion world and he's like, man, we're not making movies anymore. I guess I'm gonna have to kick ass for real. Yeah, right? That is interesting. It's like, do movies count anymore? after the world's been decimated in Independence Day? Right. Yeah. So unless there have been some constitutional changes after the alien attack, Bill Pullman can't be president mm, anymore. True. Um, so who's president now? As much as I just want to recast aliens as this movie, Bill Paxton. Oh, know. that'll be really confusing with the Pullman <laughs> Paxton thing. Uh, he gave a really good speech in Pacific Rim, but not a ton of people saw Pacific Rim. So let's say Idris Elba. Yes. Oh, I love Idris yes, bring, Elba. Uh, yeah, bring him in. Uh -huh. Bring in the whole cast of The Wire in every different role. Oh. We got Michael B. Jordan, we got Idris Elba, Love we'll take, that. Uh, Method you know. Man. <laughs> yes, yes. Cheese needs to be in there. Who would we want to avoid? I don't want the Megan Foxification of yeah. this movie. We don't need any 
you know, overly hot or sexual blonde character. Yeah, so just uh, on that it. note, having a kick-ass woman in there as one of the colonial yeah. marines, how about a little uh, Michelle Rodriguez? I want Brie Larson is one of my Brie Larson. Ooh. It's just that nobody casts, and by then hopefully maybe... She's know. stellar. Yeah, unreal. In everything she's been in. I, and she tried to be Sarah Connor in The Terminator, didn't get it, went to Amelia Clark, also great. Mm -hmm. Like, let's get Brie her action movie, come on. So we're talking about our dream sequel, the current title they have on the books is ID Forever. Meh, it's okay. Yeah. But is there a new title that we like better? Is there a new holiday? Memorial Day could work. Yeah, I don't think we have a Memorial Day movie yet. Or Veterans Day. Independence mm -hmm. Day 2, Veterans Day. Independence Day 3, Memorial Day. Guys, I think we've really painted a great picture here. Just we, we have the actors, we have the title, Independence Day 2, Veterans Day. Fellas, wouldn't it be great if we could see the trailer for that movie? I can help with that. What? The voice of Honest Trailers, John Bailey, here in the studio. Hi, hi, how? <laughs> hi, hi, John Bailey. So you'd be willing to help us? You bet your ass I will. On July 2nd, they arrived. On July 3rd, they attacked. On July 4th, we fought back. Now, 20 years later, they're back. But this time, we are bringing the fight to them. And in space, everyone can hear freedom ring. When the lights go out on planet Earth, the fireworks begin. Jeff Goldblum, Bill Pullman, Bill Paxton, Michael B. Jordan, Idris Elba, Brie Larson, the cast of The Wire, featuring Will Smith and Dwayne The Rock Johnson as himself. Independence Day 2, Veterans Day. We thought we were free. We were wrong. Oops. Man. The real movie will never live up to that. Did you like our trailer? Do you want to go tweet it to Roland Emmerich? Or do you think it could be something better? Tell us in the comments below the best answer. We're going to send you a Screen Junkies t-shirt. I want to thank all my guests today. Michael Barrett of Belated Media and Jermaine Lucier of Slash Film. Check out that awesome film site. And John Bailey. Thanks for coming to the studio, brother. My pleasure. Oh, man, that voice. Since you're here and you are a master of voices and impressions, would you mind doing my signature outro to the that camera right there? Of course. I'm Hal Rudnick. Hit me up on Twitter. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I mean, if you see him as just like a little troll, like, then it's great, because then it's like, oh, he could totally get them out of this, like, situation, <laughs> yeah. but he's not. Oh, what a selfish little <laughs> trash can. <laughs>